A new campaign to change everyone's attitude to litter has been launched in Plymouth this afternoon. Nationally, it's estimated councils spend around a billion pounds cleaning up other people's waste. Richard Lawrence has this report. Street artist Isaac Goscombe was recreating a character designed by a local school child to head up this new campaign clearly aimed at the young. Tackling litter from discarded fast food waste, snacks, drinks, chewing gum can be very costly. Last year the City Council invested in a machine to remove chewing gum from funds it had earmarked for play areas. We had to make a really brave decision. We had a budget of £100,000. If we invest into a play area on a murder way or a high street, or if we say yeah, we buy equipment to clean up the streets, and sad to say, we had to make the decision to invest £100,000 into a hot washer yeah, to clean the streets. If the mural wasn't eye-catching enough, it was being painted below the city's big screen, which was showing a video produced by a local community group. It takes two seconds to go put it in a bin. All right. The message is that those who dispose of litter should be applauded. The campaign is being run by a new national voluntary group, Clean Up Britain, and has the backing of one of the city's MPs. I'm going to be talking to the local cinema operators in my constituency and asking them to show this film for free because I think it's something they can make a contribution in a small way. We are all having to pay our council tax. That's very expensive if we're having to spend that money on picking up the litter rather than actually spending it on dementia or making sure we look after the elderly and those kind of people too. So let's try very hard. Everyone is being encouraged to play their part under the hashtag LOL. That's let's obliterate litter. If the campaign's a success here, it'll be replicated across the country. Richard Lawrence, ITV News, Plymouth.